Now, the throne speech did not impress some members of the opposition who've argued that some key issues were not addressed. Vashon Brown has that angle. The delivery of the throne speech in what the opposition describes as a significant year for Jamaica. In reacting to the throne speech, the opposition said some things were missing. Some members argued that given that the country is celebrating 60 years of independence, they were expecting more. And it's a very significant year for the country. I had thought there would have been some emphasis on that and the need also for celebration and unity during this particularly, particular time. I was happy to see that there was mention of looking at the monarchy and I trust that in this year we will reach far enough so that we will have a reason to celebrate. It's not very uh, patriotic to at the end of everything say God save the Queen. For opposition spokesman on national security Peter Bunting, there was nothing new in the throne speech. He explained that his main takeaway from the presentation related to the zones of special operations. The section that spoke to zones of special operations made it clear that they're more effective than states of emergency. And also what was made clear that the impact of a state of emergency is unsustainable because as soon as it ends, the rates go right back up. On the other hand, the Zosos have a much longer term impact. Opposition spokesman on finance Julian Robinson says the plans and programs outlined in the throne speech will not address some of the big issues on the minds of Jamaicans, like price increases. Obviously, we'll hear more in the budget debate, but that is a big issue with the depreciation of the currency with gas prices continuing to rise. That issue, I think, is going to be on the minds of most Jamaicans. We do know that the area of the environment is so topical. We know that climate change is real. And as a small island developing state, Jamaica is predisposed to the effects of climate change. And because of that, I would have wanted to see more than just one paragraph in a throne speech of 22 pages that speaks to the environment. I am very happy, though, that the government has given an undertaking that this year they will ensure that the long-awaited um, cockpit counterprotected area, that it is gazetted. And I'm very happy about that. In the meantime, lead of government business in the Senate, Kamina Johnson-Smith, says she does not accept the criticism that the throne speech is more of the same. What it is, is that we are getting things right. We are going to make sure the right things are done and there will be no time like getting them done in this our 60th year of independence. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.